Even though Elizabeth can't be with us tonight, we do plan to officially induct her uh, another time next week. But I did want to say this because we are recording the ceremony and I want to be sure that she hears these words. Elizabeth, congratulations into your membership into the Academic Honor Society. Your family and friends in the audience are proud of you. I'm proud of you and I hope that you are proud of yourself. You have distinguished yourself in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. I challenge you to not only maintain these high standards, but through your creativity and energy, take yourself and the society to new levels. You have separated yourself from those that may not that may only do the least amount required or not always give 100 percent You are invested in helping your school and your community. Continue to be a light, show your peers the way, and one day very soon, I hope to see you follow in the footsteps of the six inductees here to would have been to her left and become a member of the National Honor Society at Archbishop Walsh. Let's have one last round of applause for Ms. Snyder. Now to begin the National Honor Society Ceremony. Please welcome Ms. Holland back to the podium. Thank you. To begin the National Honor Society induction ceremony, please welcome 2022 senior and NHS chapter president, Noella Paula Castro, to light the candle of knowledge and come to the place. Owens, Ms. Pisa, and Ms. Tom, members of the faculty, parents, and students, welcome to the 2022 National Honor Society induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our NHS chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you too are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious students recognition program. Today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations and we serve our school and community through many activities, including annual visits to personal care homes, litter cleanup projects, and fundraisers that benefit local food pantries. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continued work as NHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Paxton Bonding Chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of four qualities that serve as standards to the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with scholarship. So 
scholarship denotes a commitment to learn. A student is willing to spend hours in reading or study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the chance to charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in thought. Service. Uh, office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work. Where many opportunities, opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public health recognition is a quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Service. Leadership. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individual, individuality, our goodness. It is that which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem, the problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality with what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to see. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Please welcome NHS chapter member Abby Bailey to lead the NHS pledge. At this time, will the new inductees please rise? Raise your right hand and repeat the pledge. The audience can follow the text that's printed in your program. Please join me in reciting the pledge. I pledge to uphold, pledge to uphold. the high purposes of the National Honor Society, the of the National Honor Society. To, which I have been selected, to which I have been selected 
I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. And will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship. The high standards of scholarship. Leadership, service, and character. Leadership, service, and character. Thank you, Abby. Conductee, you may be seated. Mrs. Owens, Ms. Holland, and Mrs. Kleeback, please approach the head table. And now, as your name is called, Please step forward to receive your token of membership and sign the official chapter ring. Koki Fujita.
students. I would like to start by welcoming our guests, all of the parents, guardians, brothers, sisters, grandparents, families, and friends of these distinguished young people. A significant reason we are sitting here today is because of the love, support, guidance, influence, and input of all of you. Today is one of those times that we are here to celebrate the accomplishments of our students, but we are also here to realize the impact that positive, caring, and meaningful relationships have in our success and our ability to achieve. On behalf of today's inductee, I want to say thank you for being here, and thank you for your own commitment to the National Honor Society's four pillars, character, scholarship, service, and leadership. Finally, I would like to welcome our students. Current and soon-to-be members of the National Honor Society, congratulations and thank you for all of your hard work. I am proud of each one of you here today. Thank you for embracing and embodying the four pillars of NHS's foundation. Your unwavering character, commitment to scholarship, dedication to service, and development of leadership are all inspiring and critically important to who you are and who we are as a school. In countless ways, you have impacted our culture and climate here at Archbishop Walsh High School. You are passionate, thoughtful, motivated, and making it matter wherever you go. From the example you set by virtue of your character to the contributions you make to the learning community through your scholarship, to the lives you touch as part of your service, to the followers you guide by way of your leadership, you are role models, change agents, and the essence of what it means to be an eagle. I am incredibly, incredibly proud of you, and I am humbled to have the opportunity to address you this evening. Every day, I am proud to be your principal. Thank you. But today, I am proud to have you join me and others in this room in a society that has shaped my personal and professional progression through life. As I too was inducted into the National Honor Society in, well, let's just go with 19 something, shall we? I hope you are all as proud of yourselves. This is a deserving group of students who will do amazing things. And today, I'm happy to call each of you a peer, a National Honor Society peer. You have faced and overcome challenges that are the very reason why you sit in front of us today. However, the challenge that I present to you now is not one that you will necessarily face today, but rather at many points throughout your life. There is nothing more important than a future that is fueled by faith, that is more honorable than hard work, or more gracious and beautiful than a life well lived, not just for yourself, but for others. In Romans 12.10, we read, Be devoted to one another in love, but honor one another above yourselves. This is one of life's greatest calls. I can only hope that in my very short time of serving as your principal, that I've instilled some of this in all of you. I know that your teachers and your parents have certainly done the same. As you move into the final stage of high school and life thereafter, you will face many points where you will need to decide between doing something the right way and doing something the wrong way. And your decision will no doubt impact those who you surround yourself with. That pivotal moment is sometimes subtle, sometimes it can even be overlooked. But the choices that you make in these key moments will make all the difference for the life that you ultimately lead, and maybe more importantly, the lives that you will ultimately affect. Robert Frost reminds us that taking the road less traveled made all of the difference for him. As you travel down your own roads, my hope and belief is that each of you will lean on the values and the ethics in the character that you have developed as you make those difficult choices throughout your life. We all know that you have the necessary foundation, 
And it is for that reason that you are being admitted into the honor society today. In closing, always remember that induction to the honor society is a beginning, not an end. You are well on your way to making wonderful contributions to our world, to leaving a legacy that will carry on for future generations of Archbishop Walsh students. Congratulations to all of you once again. Please continue to make your school proud, your teachers proud, your parents proud, and most importantly, yourself proud. Thank you. Thank you. 